Hey guys, it's Brendan with Seller Tools. Uh, we have a brand new way on how to determine your master keyword. Um, the problem was um, there was a lot of confusion on what is my best keyword, how should I pick it. Um, we tried to help with some uh, some pop ups and some some instructions, but there's still a little bit of confusion. Um, so we, we have a new way to doing it. So there's there's two ways to do this. Um, the first way is you can add in a bunch of ASINs or add in some keywords. So if this is a product that you know about um, and maybe you've been selling it for a while and you have a list of keywords, you can go ahead and paste in your keywords here. Let's say it's a brand new product and you have no idea what to do. So what we can go is jump over to Amazon and this is an apple slicer. So we do apple slicer and get off here. I'm going to grab this Amazon's choice one. So there's one ASIN. I'm going to grab another one. Just going to kind of. And I'm gonna grab one more. These are probably not the best ones to grab, but you kind of, this one only has 200 reviews. Let's get something. Um, here's, nah, I like this one. This totally looks like an ASMR for sure. All right. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and there's my three. And then we do limit it for three at a time, just so there's not like a lot of congestion in the system, but you, there's no limitation on how many times you could run this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and filter. And then from there, it's gonna pull our Amazon scorecard report for us. And that was, look how quick that was. It, it just pulled, ran a report on all three ASINs all the same exact time. Um, so from here, we have a word cloud. And the word cloud is nothing more than just showing us what's re repeated most often. Um, so like Apple's repeated a lot um, because it's a little bit bigger. Um, Apple, Apple Slicer for whatever reason is repeated. Apple Core Slicer, Apple Core, et cetera, Apple Kitchen. Um, so this is just to give us a, a basic idea of what phrases are repeated most often. Um, you know, just because this one or this one is the biggest doesn't mean it's the best keyword. What we want to do is just pick the most applicable, the, the phrase that best describes our product. Um, in this instance, uh, we would go ahead and pick Apple Slicer. If for whatever reason, uh, we have a really kind of odd product and we know what it is. I can go ahead and click this checkbox here and say, I want to specify my own. And then from there, you can type in Apple Slicer. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Apple Slicer and then hit next. And then from here, it's gonna start pulling in all those keywords um, from all three of those ASINs. I mean, look how easy this is. This is ridiculous. So just for the, for to make this video short, I'm just gonna kind of move everything over to, I want relevant, oops, all. Um, and then I'm gonna hit finish. And we just did massive keyword research on based upon our three competitors, plus chose our master keyword, which is denoted by this little house right here. Um, and that took us, I mean, what did that take us, like two minutes? And from there, it's gonna go ahead and pull our TSI. It's gonna pull our exact and broad impressions. Um, and and w within two minutes, we just pretty much did the 80-20 of keyword research for a brand new product. So I hope that you guys are excited about this new way to do master, uh, master keyword, as well as find some great keywords. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and jump in, uh, join us in the Facebook group and uh, let us know. Thanks, guys.